15 seconds. I was hoping one minute. I thought it was oh, thank you. <laughs> I really, I'm on until three. That really matters. Mark, we do have IMPD here giving us an update right now. We're going to go ahead and take them live. Hi, my name's uh, Kerry Buckner. I'm the Night Watch Commander for IMPD. I'm here to give you some information uh, that I can put out at this point about a shooting that occurred at Ben Davis High School, 1200 North Rural School Road. Uh, about 9.25 tonight, uh, IMPD officers were dispatched to assist uh, Wayne Township School Police with a possibly a uh, person shot. Uh, when they arrived, they found out that there was at least one person that was shot. They had one person in custody. And they initially thought the other that the, there was another person that was injured. Turned out they were just having a panic attack. Um, so the juvenile that was shot, uh, juvenile male was shot in the in the uh, arm. So he was transported to the hospital in stable condition. The individual was apprehended, um, was taken down to IMPD for uh, further investigation. We're actually assisting Wayne Township School Police. Uh, with this investigation they're actually a police agency uh, but we do assist them with uh, criminal investigations from time to time um, we're not really at this point sure what caused the the uh, confrontation there were some reports there were five or six uh, shots that were fired actually by the stadium that was it was not inside the stadium it was just outside of one of the gates uh, and from what we are gathering at this point the witnesses are saying that they did not have, hear any kind of uh, disagreement or fight prior to the shots being fired. So at this point, it's, it's still pretty early. Uh, we have good detectives on this. Uh, we have ev evidence technicians over there collecting evidence. It's a pretty large crime scene, uh, not necessarily a crime scene, but we have ev you know we have evidence from the crime. We have uh, evidence from where the individuals were apprehended with a, with a weapon. And then we have evidence from where the uh, victim actually kind of came to rest, if you want to call it that. So uh, like I said, we're working with them and uh, I'm sure we'll come to some conclusion at the end of this, but being juveniles, we have to make sure that their parents are present before we get to speak to them. So we're trying to round up parents uh, to help us out with the investigation. Both the suspect and the victim are juveniles? Yes. Both, both males? Both 16-year-old males. 16-year-old males, yes. Are they from Ben Davis High School or were they from Carmel? Uh, that I, I can't tell you for a certain. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know that. Uh, do we know, so just the other people that were injured, were other students around or other people around witnesses when it happened? Yes, there were other people. Um, we are dealing with that just like any other crime scene that we go to. We have juveniles especially, you know, when they're younger, they're very reluctant to, to work with the police. Uh, we have a few that are helping us. Um, and I believe that uh, Wayne Township Schools has some sort of surveillance system at the, at the school which would be beneficial. <clears throat> but you know we can only uh, we can only work with what people are going to tell us. We can't make them talk to us. Uh, we had one witness that we thought was going to be a good witness just tell us I didn't see anything. So I mean we know that's not correct, but we have to, to deal with the hand of the you know work with the hand of the belt, and uh, we'll we'll get to come together. Like I said, we, the the main thing is this was not a random act of violence. This is an isolated incident. We have the shooter in custody. We have a, we have a weapon and. You know, we're going to work from here uh, as long as the juvenile justice system uh, can process and you know, decide what they're going to do. I, I don't know any of the background on either one of the victim or the suspect. So that's a, all that's dependent on how if, if this person would happen to get waived or not waived or tried as a juvenile or tried as an adult. So that's up to that's a whole different part of the, the, the justice system. So Can you describe what kind of gun was recovered from the suspect? I don't. I cannot. The, it was secured when I got here. Um, so I I'm sure it was a hand. Uh, I'm just I mean, I'm speculating that. Uh, I don't know the caliber uh, or the make or anything like that. And the sus or the victim was only shot one time. As far as I know, uh, they told him told me that he was shot in the arm. And he was stable. And as far as the location, was it in the parking lot over by the bleachers? It was in. Uh, they said it was by gate two, and I don't. It's it's like just outside the stadium. It's like an entry gate. So. Uh, it wasn't actually in the stadium. When I first heard it, I heard it was inside the stadium. It's going to be a terrible, I mean, it's going to be mass chaos. But, uh, it was outside. But, uh, the game was stopped, and uh, everybody was calmly uh, escorted out of there, you know, asked to leave the stadium. Uh, 
just for safety reasons. What did you say about that? Located he was located just uh, not too. He was located right by the school. He was apprehended right by the school. He was running, and uh, the the director of security or director of school police for uh, Wayne Township actually chased him down. And there was other officers. We had off-duty IMPD officers working there, off-duty Claremont officers working there, and Wayne Township police officers. And so they all worked together to uh, make everything happen. And they, they have a so. What can you say about the nature of this, just given that it's two 16-year-olds at a homecoming football game? I mean, it's, it's definitely sad. Yeah, it is. Uh, but I guess my question would be, um, why did the parents not know that the 16-year-old had a gun? Um, you know, parents should not be shy about checking their kids' rooms, their cars, and everything else. Because at the end of the day, parents are responsible for this juvenile's actions. Um, we're not here to raise kids. We deal with criminal activity. But keeping guns out of kids' hands uh, when they apparently can't control their emotions is a very important part of parents uh, and knowing where they're at uh, at all times. We, we would ask that that is a big would be a huge help for us if parents would take responsibility for the kids. When you have a shooting on school grounds and especially outside of a football game, what is your response? To that? Well, you know, um, our response as, in this situation, our response is a support role because they already have their own school police. They know the kids. They had uh, they had faculty that were that were on the scene and the, and then. I haven't worked a football game in a while, but usually the faculty keeps things under control. They keep things under control because they deal, they know who the problem child problem children are, they know who the good children are, and they kind of just make sure everything stays calm at the football game. So that's a huge help, but IMPD is here as a support element in this incident. Um, I, don't, I don't know if all schools have their own police department, but I believe they do. Uh, and they're all certified police departments. So, we're just here to help because a lot of them don't have detectives. And if they do have detectives, they're not used to dealing with people shot. They're used to dealing with thefts and, and things like that. So uh, we're here to help our community partners in any way we can. So. And this was a big crowd here tonight. People said there were four or 5,000 people here at this game. Did that affect the investigation at all with just the amount of people that were rushing around after the shots were fired? I don't think it did, and I tell you why. Because I think that that there was a coordinated plan on getting people out, peace, you know, in, in a very structured method. It wasn't mass chaos. When I came in, it wasn't like people were running over each other trying to get away. I think that they realized it was an isolated incident, that there wasn't any immediate danger at this point, and because we had enough staff and police officers here, we were able to get people out smoothly. So that was a huge help. Anybody else? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. yeah.